Through the magic of video, I'm taking my very laborious and labor-intensive art process and condensing it into under two minutes in this video. And I do that with something that's equally magical to me, um, an apron. It doesn't look like anything special. It does have special significance that I'll explain later. Um, and it doesn't apply in other contexts. If you've ever eaten my cooking, you know there's nothing magical about that. Trust me. Um, but I do put it on the minute I walk into my art studio, and it totally lifts my spirits the minute I do. It puts me in a totally different place where my problems fall away, and that's the way I want to feel when I'm about to do my art. The first step in my art process is exactly what it is for a writer. The blank page. In my case, it's a blank tile. And um, this is also the first step. I paint the tiles, and this is also the first step in the way I discovered art in the first place. I had cancer, and I was living in total fear. And there was no way I could escape, and I was never artistic. But I discovered, amazingly enough, that art helped me escape from cancer. So naturally, I painted all the time, and I mean all the time. Um, on everything imaginable. I painted this whole set of dishes behind me. My house is filled with things that I painted. And at this point, I'm just painting tiles. The next step is firing the tiles in the kiln, which is the only thing I don't do myself, but they come out looking like this. The next step is what everybody thinks has to be the best part. Sorry. This is definitely where I spend the most time and I love the most. The only downside is that I'm covered in glue, manicures, forget about it. If you see me with the apron and the bowl and the spoon, it really looks like I'm cooking. But what I'm really making is a mess. To make it a little bit less messy, I tape up any items that I use that could get ruined by the grout. After the drought dries, to clean up the dry grout and the dry glue, I use some really odd little tools. I smooth off the edges with sandpaper, and then depending on the piece, I add a background and I finish off the edges the exact same way that I started in the first one. So I finish my piece, and the reason my apron is so important to me is that when I had cancer, and I reached my 10-year survival point, I had a big party to celebrate. And these aprons were the party favors. So every single time I put it on, it reminds me, even though I never forget, how important it is to celebrate life and how grateful I am to be here.